Nature Kenya has a strategic plan which which is guided with certain pillars. Each one is on species and science. So that's a pillar that I support with the science component. Then we have a pillar of sustainability, which is linking up with business government to ensure that there is appropriate um, uh, say, uh, appropriate policy processes, appropriate business practices that contribute to, to nature, nature, nature conservation. Mm. Then we have a pillar of local action, which is to support local communities towards um, who support uh, conservation of nature, because as mm. our mission goes, is connecting people with nature mm. for a sustainable future. Mm. So there's a there's a local community element which now is at one key pillar, which is local action. Mm. And looking at those three pillars, they're the, the guiding um, see the, 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 the guiding principles that Nature Kenya uh, operates on. And therefore, this specific component of engaging business is, is mainstream or its core to our, to our, to our activities mm. within the sustainability pillar. So we want to uh, businesses or private sector or whoever it is, uh, government, mm -hmm. uh, let's say like for now for East African breweries, mm -hmm. their core raw materials are nature-based. They use water for production. This water comes from somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and water does not just produce itself. Mm -hmm. So to ensure that they are able to achieve sustainability, they need to look at how best to conserve the water and to help in the replenishment of the water. So to ensure that their business is sustainable, they, we, we approach them to provide those solutions that would ensure that their business is sustainable throughout mm -hmm. the future. And it's with elements to do with water replenishment capacities. Mm -hmm. So every beverage that they make is made of water, that's called their business. If they don't have water, they're out of business. Mm. So, so in that case, if you look at um, where the water comes from, then forests, mm -hmm. they're critical all for, for water replenishment. So all the rivers come from the forest. All trees provide the capacity for the soil to be able to take in the water and you know, uh, uh, sequestrate the water into the ground, mm -hmm. to underground aquifers, into the rivers, etc. So our support to East Africa Brewers was to is to help their business to be much more sustainable through uh, actions that help in, uh, in replenishment mm -hmm. of water. Mm -hmm. And with that, our core activity has been supporting them in tree growing activities, mm -hmm. restoration mm -hmm. of the forest, looking mainly at this Two main forests that support uh, uh, that support water, uh, water um, that support in, in pro providing water for Nairobi, mm -hmm. and that is Abadeas and Mount Kenya. Because mm -hmm. if you look at those two catchment areas, most of the water comes from those two catchment areas that support um, that support Nairobi with the water business. And above that, just beyond water is that when their business is reliant on electricity mm -hmm. to power their machines, to power all this equipment mm -hmm. that they're running in their, in their factory, mm -hmm. and that electricity comes from somewhere as well. Mm -hmm. And the Seven Fox Dam mm -hmm. provides, uh, this one, it provides 75% of hydropower in the country. The other power generating, active, the, the other power generating um, um, options that we have in the country, but hydro is one of, mm -hmm. one of the major ones in the country. So, so therefore, the replacement of water is not just linked just because of their raw materials, but it's also raw materials for energy. Uh, and then finally, water is also the raw material for, for production of food. Mm -hmm. So the barley that they use, the sorghum that they use for, for making the beers, you know, the yeah. raw materials for their, for, for their, for their products has to be watered by something. Okay. So and and therefore the same water that comes from the, from the forest helps in watering the plants, but also the forest provides conducive environment 
which then attracts rain mm. to be able to to have to have uh, this food this crop which is used as their raw material mm. in in their business. So it's a multifaceted mm. thing, but overall, it's looking at the raw the, the value chain of the production. Okay. So if they if they support this part of their production, it's in the ensuring that their business is is sustainable overall. Okay.